안녕하세요 김지아입니다 This video is about the Global Korean Scholarship which is known as GKS GKS is a Korean scholarship for undergraduates and graduates For you to win the Global Korean Scholarship you need to have an idea about the scholarship how to apply the documents that are required for the scholarship where to submit your documents and the necessary things you need to do for you to get the scholarship if you don't have knowledge about how gks scholarship operates it's quite difficult for you to get the scholarship because there is the embassy track process university track process and gks guideline you need to follow for your application that is why you need to have knowledge about the gks scholarship before you start your application in this video i'll be providing three important things you need to note if you want to win gks scholarship if you're new to this channel you're welcome to the korean family if you're returning subscribers you're also welcome as you can see we create helpful informative and educative korean content and if you find this channel helpful to you please do click the red subscribe button like and share this video all right guys let's get right into this video <music> have to note if you want to apply for the GKS scholarship is having an idea about the GKS scholarship is still not enough even if you submit all the documents that are required for the scholarship you still have to give them a strong reason why you should be selected for the scholarship it's very very important you have to show them that you are the best candidate and you deserve the scholarship not just showing them Prove to them that among all the GKS applicants applying for the GKS scholarship, you are the best candidate for the scholarship and you deserve it. It's very, very necessary. All right. The second thing you have to bear in mind is the authentication and legalization of your documents. A lot of people have confused about how they can authenticate and legalize their documents, especially Nigerians. The reason why you have to authenticate and legalize your documents is to prove that your documents are original and not fake. So there are three stages if you want to authenticate and legalize your documents for GKS scholarship or any Korean university admission. The first stage is the Ministry of Education. The document which will be taken to the Ministry of Education is your graduation certificate or testimonial, your transcripts, and your work certificates. What you have to do is to make a photocopy of these three documents, then take the photocopy and the original of your document to the Ministry of Education. Once you get to the Ministry of Education, you're going to see a lot of people who are there to authenticate their documents. I don't think South Korea is the only country that required you to authenticate your documents if you want to study in South Korea. I think other countries also required you to um, authenticate your documents to prove that your documents are original and not fake. So when you get to the Ministry of Education, you're going to see a lot of people who are there to do the same thing. All you have to do is just to you know, move with them. So once you're done at the Ministry of Education, then you move to the second stage, which is the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. What you're going to do at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs is to take those documents which you took to the Ministry of Education, which is your YX certificates, your transcript and your graduation certificates, the original and the uh, photocopy you took to the Ministry of Education, you're going to take the same documents to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. If you're using your birth certificate as proof of citizenship, then you have to include your birth certificate at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. But if you're not using your birth certificate, you're using like an international passport, then it is not um, necessary for you to include that. But if you're using your birth certificate then you have to include your birth certificate at the ministry of foreign affairs 
So once you are done administering foreign affairs, you're going to move over to the last stage, which is Korean Embassy. It is the legalization of your documents. So when you get to the Korean Embassy, first thing you have to do is to get the required document for legalization. And also you have to book an appointment for legalization of your documents. So the requirements for legalization of your documents are those documents, those your graduation certificates and transcripts, your work certificate, which you took to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Ministry of Education is very, very necessary. They have to stamp on those documents before you can go to the Korean Embassy. If you want to legalize the photocopy of your graduation and transcript certificates, then you need to get a stamp of certified true copy from your school with notarization from the Ministry of Education and Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Okay. Okay. Then the next document you need for legalization of your documents is you need an original letter from your school stating that you are once a student from that school and that is your certificate. You also need an affidavit from the court stating the ownership of documents. You need a copy of your international passport and you have to pay for the legalization fee. So you also need to submit the remitter from the Ministry of Education and Ministry of Foreign Affairs, all right? So that are the documents you need for legalization of your documents. Legalization and authentication of your documents is really, really important if you want to um, study in South Korea. Either you want to apply for GKS scholarship or you want to apply for any Korea university admission, you still have to authenticate and legalize your documents. So it's very, very necessary process. The third thing and the last thing I want you to bear in mind when applying for GKS scholarship is the track. There are two tracks. There is the embassy track and the university track. And you can only apply for one track. Either you apply for the university track or you apply for the embassy track. It's up to you to decide which track you want to apply to. The process of applying for GKS depends on the track you want to apply to. If you're applying for the university track, you have to know that you're applying directly to the university that you want to study. You have to know about the university. You have to make a lot of research about the university. You have to know when the application is up. You have to know the deadline for GKS application in that university. You have to do a lot of research concerning that university and you also have to understand the process of applying for GKS through that university then if you're applying for the embassy track then you have to submit your document at the Korean Cultural Center for Nigerians I really don't know about other country where you have to submit your document I don't know if the it's the same thing if you have to submit at the Korean Cultural Center in your country or if you have to submit at the Korean Embassy so you just have to make a lot of research where to submit your um, documents for the um, embassy track in your country but for nigerians you have to submit your document at the korea cultural center then you have to you know put your ear up to know when the application for gks is up because you're applying for the embassy track you have to know when the deadline is up you have to know when they'll post it that okay it's time for you to apply for gks either for undergraduates or graduates you have to be aware you have to you know keep your ear up to know when the application is up and the deadline so that is it for the embassy track and if you're applying for the university track, you have to know like where to submit your documents, you have to know the process, you have to channel your energy and walk your way through the university track. So the difference between the embassy track and the university track is the embassy track, you'll be submitting your documents at the Korea Cultural Center. That is where you'll be submitting your documents and the deadline for the embassy track is different from the university track. All you have to do is for you to decide if you want to apply for the embassy track or the university track. But you have to bear those in mind. If you're applying for the embassy track, you can apply for the university track. And if you're applying for the university track, you can apply for the embassy track. So you just have to decide, I'm going to apply for the embassy track. And what you have to do is for you to channel your energy on the embassy track 
app process make a lot of research on how to apply for gks through the embassy track the documents and everything you have to do you have to submit your documents and everything you just have to do for gks application through the embassy track and if you're applying for the university track if you have decided to apply for the university track through gks then you have to know how to you know go about the university make a lot of research try to contact the university try to know the process try to know the deadline when the application is up so it's really really important the first thing you have to decide is for you to know the track you want to apply if you're going to apply for gks scholarship once you decide on the track then you walk your way through that track you are interested in you can apply for two track okay you decide on one of this track and walk your way through that track guys that is the idea about gks is very very important but don't focus your energy about getting all the information you need concerning gks knowing that you have to do this do that and all that although it's very very necessary for you to have an idea at least that is the starting point of your application but you also have to bear this in mind that you having an idea about gks is still not enough for you to win the scholarship but you have to be able to prove to them that you deserve the scholarship you have to give them a strong reason that you are the right candidate for the scholarship that is another thing you have to bear in mind having the document is also necessary writing a good study plan and know what you really want it's really really important the third thing is for you to prove to them that you know what you are doing you're going to south korea you have a you have a plan you have a zeal you have a focus you have like you determine and you also deserve the scholarship you're not just going there because you want to go to south korea but you're going there for a reason it's really really important for you to prove to them that you are the best candidate among all the gks applicants that will be applying for the scholarship that's it okay it's really really important so guys that is it for today's video because this video is basically about the things you have to know before you start your application the next video i'm going to be posting is um how you can apply for gks the document that are required and a lot of information you will need for gks application also i'm going to be making a video on the interview process what you have to do what you expected to see and all that all right that is it for today's video thanks for watching and i will see you next time with another of my korean helpful video come tell me by your onion bye see you next time